flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Pretty day out here. It's just it busy. really is. It really is a beautiful day out here. Excellent yeah. day for a ride. Yeah. Don't ever go there looking for a deal. Kubota? At this Hennard dealer. I don't even like Kubota as a company. I went over there when I bought my tractor. Right. I was thinking about buying a, a, a Kubota. Right. Because they had a sale. Right. But when I went over there, and this has happened like three or four times over the years, I never could get anybody to wait on me. Right. And then that last time I went, he did wait on me, on me but he never did call me back. Hmm. But the thing of it is, the prices, there was no prices on it. Yeah. He just said it was on sale. And then I went on their website, and there were no prices on, on the website. So how do you know if it's on sale? Exactly. On sale from what? So I called a, I called the company, and I said, there's no prices. How do you know what the price is? He said, well, we pretty much let our dealers set the prices. Hmm. I said, well, how do you know you're getting a good deal? You don't? Well, we pretty much allow the dealers to set the, their own price. He said, well, he said it's on sale. How do I know what the sale is off of? And he repeated again for the third time. Well, we pretty much let. I said, well, i tell you what. I pretty much don't deal with people like this. Right. You know? Right, because they can tell you anything. But, you know, yeah. a lot of times these businesses are marked the stuff up and then call itself giving you a discount, and all right. they did was just got the money that they really wanted in the first place. Right. I don't know of any other company in the world that don't list. Don't, now, there are car companies that don't list the price on the website. Right. There are companies that don't. But I guarantee you if you go to the store where they sell them, it'll be a price on it. Right. They don't have nothing. Excuse and if you me. call the company, they'll tell you what. Like, Cliff's, Cliff's has the price. Magnapan may not have a price on their website. Right. But we're going to get on the freeway here. But if you get if you call Magnapan, they'll damn sure tell you what it costs. Right. They're going to tell you, well, we pretty much allow our dealers to, 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 price the, to price the equipment. Yeah. We pretty much let them set their prices. Hmm. You got to do it out here. Yeah, I guess he's putting a counter out there for, you know, yeah. trying to see how many people actually come out on this road. Yeah. They need it's to do time it. for them to retop it. They need <laughs> to do that back home so they can see how bad the roads are, but they know. Yeah, Tennessee got bad roads, but it's because of the travel. Right. Arkansas got bad roads because they just won't fix them. Well, we got bad roads because they won't fix them either. Yeah. All right, we're getting on. 67 South, the Six Rock and Roll Highway. 67 South. I think we should be pretty good on the wind because the, uh, I think as the day go on, the wind's supposed to die down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think they said by 7 o'clock it's supposed to be out of here. And that was back home, so it may be sooner here. Yeah. I'm going to keep the speed down around 65 so we don't get blown off. Sound like a winner to me, JC. Yeah. I'm just going to, I'm a bag. They can go around us if they want to do 80. Right. Normally I do 80 on this road. You know, the yeah. speed limit went up in Arkansas to 75. Right. And you can do 80. Okay. I well, don't, but I don't, I'm not doing it today. Right. With these high winds, we want to just be safe. Yeah. And uh, it at a normal, right. at a lower rate. Right. Because I like to get blowed off the bike a couple of times on the way over. Right. But, you know, of course, I was riding west. And right now right. We're, we're, head, we're riding more, I think we're riding more southwest, you think? We're going southwest. South. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Headed for, headed towards Little Rock. Headed toward Little Rock. Out yeah. on the go wing, riding with JC. JC, what's up, Chris Caliente? Testing out this center. Testing out this GoPro 10. Yeah. Riding on the double dark side, baby. <laughs> double dark side. Double, double dark. Side. Double D. Yeah. When 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 dark side just ain't good enough. When dark side ain't good enough. Double dark side. Yeah, maybe we can kick it down to sixty. <laughs> yeah, we doing it. We doing a good speed. We we had a very yeah. good speed. Okay. Yeah, we doing at a good speed. So whatever you had to set at, that was fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Cause when I was riding straight west, man, it was, man, it was, it was, you know, it was no trees. At least along this highway here, we got trees. Yeah, so for the most part. It, it, well, at least it's breaking off some of the wind. But when I was riding toward your house, man, it was just all flat. Yeah, you was wide open. Man, wide open, man. There's a few places where you do have trees, like around Earl. Right. Oh, yeah. Earl. Earl, Arkansas. Because you came all the way. You went to uh, you went up 55 from Marion. Yes. And caught over that way. Right. Is that the faster way, you think, or is that... What are you not uh, like? A, I noticed you come through a wind of Forest City. What yeah, are you not? I, I used to come that way all the time, but I quit because I just got bored with it. it oh, became okay. Became too monotonous. So now I go to wind and, and hit one and go to Forest City. Truck and a bike behind us. Truck coming by. Bike is too. Okay. Yeah. Let the wind blow him on down the road somewhere. Yeah. Give him the bike a wave. Yeah. He just he got a little. He on a crotch rocket. Yeah. He got a crotch rocket. He's slicing through the wind. <laughs> right. But once he get to his destination, he'd be walking like a cowboy. <laughs> It'd be John Wayne, huh? That's right. He'll be sterile. I told you, a pilgrim. He, when, once he get to his destination, he'll be singing, I'm a cowboy on yeah. a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be yeah. walking like John Wayne. Uh-huh. The Duke. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. So this is, now, this is Highway... This is Highway 67. 67, okay. It'll take you from Little Rock to St. Louis, Chris. Okay, so we're heading, uh... Okay, okay, so we're heading south, so it runs back north towards St. Louis. Yeah, we were going Check. back. This will take you all the... Now, here's what I want to do, okay? The next time I go to Lambert's, I want to go up 67, this same highway, 67 north to Poplar Bluff. Okay. And then you will hit Highway 62 east. Okay. And it'll take you to Sykeson. Oh, okay, the back way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the 67, they've been working on that for so long. Most of 67 is like this now. Car coming hard on your left. That'll be a good... And then, too, hey, do you remember Godfather's Pizza? Yes, sir. That was always my favorite pizza. Yeah. They're, they're headquartered in, uh, I think, Indiana or something like that. But anyway, uh, in Springfield, in Springfield. But they have a, uh, they got Godfather's Pizza all over Missouri still. Right. And they got one in Poplar Bluff. So I want to go there and try that out. Oh, okay, okay. But I also want to get, I want to go to Sykes and that, that uh, Lambert's again, but I want to go that way. Good grief. This yeah, wind this old hit. wind ain't a joke. Blowing me back towards you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah I'm, I was trying I'm to come up on the side of you, but with this wind, it's like when I decided to come around the wind, like, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Where are yeah, you I'm going? Yeah, I'm it down to, I'm, I'm doing six, under 60 now. Yeah, it's. These winds are strong, man. I'm telling you, blow these, blow these motorcycles right off the road. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Piece of a tire. Yeah. You have to watch these cages because they want you to be running hard like them. They sitting on four wheels. Yeah. Enclosed. You know. They getting, now, instead of getting 20 miles a gallon, they getting 15. Yeah. But they can't tell the difference in the car. Not that much. Right. Because they protect it. But the way they make trucks now, the front end has no aerodynamics. Right. They made trucks and SUVs fit up like a big block of wood. <laughs> <A block of. laughs> if you look at it, well, you got one. Right. The trucks today look like a big block of wood. They, they don't, the hood don't slant down at all. It's just a big block, a big block. Right. Trying to make it look Trying more appealing. Trying to make it drink as much gas as they can. Apparently so. And it used to be about making stuff aerodynamic. Now it's yeah, they would point the hood down a little bit. Got a big truck coming up on your left. Kind of sloping. Man. My sister has a Toyota Highlander. Uh-huh. That thing is a big block. You will see it when you get over here. The hood goes straight out, comes to an end, and goes straight down. Wow. Like a cliff. Wow. Yeah. But she don't go that much, so. 
But, boys, you do have to put some gas in that sucker, boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't normally... I don't think I'll ever buy another gas sucker. You're not? I don't think I'll ever see. have another gas sucker. The last truck I owned was a Toyota. Ooh. That did pretty good. But the one before that, I had an F-150 four-wheel drive uh -huh. with 331 gears. Guess what the mileage was on it, Chris? The gas mileage, 20 miles yeah. a gallon? Nope. It was 15 city, 17. It was it was, it was, was 14 city, 13, 17 highway. 14, mm. 17. Mm. 14 city, 17 highway. Mm. A gas yep. guzzler. That was a gas guzzler. Probably didn't even have no... Probably didn't even have a catalytic convert on it. Man, I had to fill up all the time. You didn't have to wonder when you were going to buy gas. When you came to the gas station, you stopped. What year was that vehicle? It was a 96. Oh, okay. Yeah, they probably was. Yeah, yeah. it had a catalytic converter. But it was geared down, too. It oh, okay. It was four-wheel drive, and it had a... It's, it had a low gear. This car down. Oh. This car slowing down. Watch it. Don't don't I'm change lanes. I'm trying to see if I can't get over. Don't yet. don't change lanes. Do not do not change lanes. Right. This car he burnt. Something's wrong with it. He when, broke. When you, when you get, I'll tell you when you change lanes. We got. Hold on. With this truck back here. Right. So when we change lanes, we're gonna have to. Yeah, there's another. There's another. It's a van. It's a you. it's a van coming up pretty quick, Jimmy. Don't change right. lanes. Right. I'm looking. I can see him. Don't change lanes. This person there's needs a few to pull cars. up. That's. He's car broke. This guy for having car trouble. That's dangerous. Yeah. That is dangerous. Yeah, he can't help it. Yeah, but he need to pull off the road. That's dangerous. You'll make somebody run into the back of you. Yeah. I'm going to let these people go around and right. come around you. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just take your time, man. Yeah, a person like that is dangerous. See that, you know, you running. He should put on his flasher so people exactly. will know he having car trouble. Right. He need to pull over and call a wrecker truck or get yeah. off the interstate. You don't, you know, you do have a minimum speed on the interstate. I know it, and he's way under it. He's way under it, man. That's dangerous. That'll make somebody run into the back of us. Yeah. It ain't safe for him. No. Ooh, that wind. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Okay, come on over, JC, whenever you can. And that's going to be a lot of wind coming off that truck that's on our seats yeah, back know there. <laughs> okay, we're coming up on BB right now. Watch this truck. Coming hard on your left. Are uh, we coming up? Yeah, BB, next three exits. Okay. Yeah, BB is the next exit. Okay, JC. B.B. Antioch. B.B. Antioch. I'm not sure if I've, I'm not sure if I've ever been. The 67 run from Ball Knob to Little Rock? Yeah, that time, that time you came to my house after I first bought my heated gear. You and Jason. Right. And that other guy, I can't remember his name. Right. Okay. You came down, you came here. And we all rode out to Cycle Gear. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, then we came back and we ate over at um, Golden Corral. Okay. You remember that? Yeah, I kind of forgot who we was with, but I, I, I remember coming over. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, so this is the first time I would have been on. You said this 67? This is 67. 67. Yeah. Okay. It looked like a pretty good highway. Well, it's you know, new. It's, it's not beat they up. They repaved it. Okay. All this is new pavement. I was say, it's not beat up. No, they was getting there, though, Chris. Oh, it was? Yeah. They've been working on it. They got rain grooves in here. I'm speed up you a little bit. You can't hardly feel them that bad. But they're, they're, uh, they're redoing it, and they're widening it some places. Yeah, let's try to bump it up just a little bit, JC. Yeah. Okay, there's a truck coming now. Hard, yeah. Hard on your left. Yeah, I'm just standing over here in the right-hand lane. Ooh. That wind off that truck. Yeah. You always say it don't rain on a gold wing, it rain around it. Yes, sir. But you never say it, the, the, the wind don't go around it. 
There's a lot of wind, but it don't, you know. The wind, the wind definitely hits the gold wing, don't it? <laughs> I, I would go so far as saying that it doesn't tornado on a gold wing. It'll tornado around it. Oh, okay. I wouldn't want to put that to the test. You believe that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Next time there's a tornado out, I'm going to say, Chris, I'm going to call you to see if you out riding. <laughs> I'm going to see if you out riding the next time there's hey, a high wind. You, you know, I'll do it out, you know. Amphibious mode, tornadoes, it don't matter. See if you got some kind of suit for that. <laughs> Rain, shine, see the snow. Caliente is on the go. <laughs> see if you got some kind of suit. For a tornado, huh? Uh, yeah, for tornadoes to keep you from getting blown off the street. You ain't lying. <laughs> The last time I seen him, he was running 67 South, huh? 60, we're on the 67 Highway South. So we see the bike, we just don't see him. Who was that? No, I'm saying if I was riding on the tornado on this street. Oh, yeah, right. We see we see the bike, we just don't see him. Yeah, he's nowhere around. Uh -huh. You'd be like Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, you know. That's right. Man. I was watching one of them videos one time on how to, on tornado. Right. One of them documentaries. Uh huh. And they showed a little dot flying in the air. They said you can't tell, but this little black dot is a minivan. Huh. They said that's why you don't don't be crazy enough to think you're safe just because you're in your car. Right. No man, that thing of. That minivan look like a pebble flying in the air. I don't know why this truck don't just come around. You know, it's windy out here. And, uh... Hey, if somebody want to pass, they can go around. Yeah, these, these winds ain't no yeah. joke. That's Conway. We would have got, got off at that last exit. We would have went to Conway. Conway, Conway Cycle Shop. Conway Cycle Shop. And then if you would have got on the freeway, you would have gone to... Well, that's the way you went to Russellville, isn't it? Uh, you went to Heartland. Uh, I came off of 40. Oh, that's right. You were coming from Memphis. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, it's a good road going back that way toward uh, Heartland then. Yeah, if I was going to Heartland, yeah, I would get off right there at that exit. We just passed B.B. Conway. Right. And head over. That's Highway 64. That's a good road, right? Yeah, that's a good road. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, just a regular old highway. It's good pavement. Yeah, it'll take you to Conway, and then in Conway, you get on 40. Right. Or the east. Right. And head on up the road. Look out for the truck. Yeah, I came off 40. I went straight out 40 west. Hey, didn't you notice that the traffic, to me, is better on once you pass Little Rock on 40 than it is on 40 east from, from Little Rock to Memphis? To me, it don't seem quite as bad. Yeah. Let's bump it up just a little bit, uh, Jason, if we can. If we can. I don't like this truck behind me. I don't know why he just don't go around. Well, truck, you're supposed to ride in the slow lane anyway, so trucks will do that. Well, the, but, good, the good thing but about it, I guess he's... they go around you if well, they want to pass. Well, he is shielded, so that's good on one hand. He blocking. But he going around now. There's a Dodge Ram truck. That's what you need, Chris. That truck go trade your Chevy in on a Dodge. Truck coming around. Truck coming Get around. Get you a Woo. Dodge. Man. A Ram. Now, that's the thing about this light gold wing, man. It's, it's light, but when the wind is blowing, that's not good. I know it. You know, that's when you want a heavy bike. Yeah, something that'll sit down. Yeah, man, this light, this front end is light on this bike, seems like, when the wind is blowing. Yeah, if you need me to, I can slow it down some more. No, 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 we good. I just... Hey, Chris, it was windy. It wasn't quite this bad, but it was pretty windy approaching this. When I went to con to uh, Hot Springs that time on Urkel, right, and Urkel will go any speed you want it to, but it don't necessarily feel good at any speed, right, because it is a little bike, right. And I came back from uh, Hot Springs that morning. I left out going to Conway, got a set of tires, and then I went to Hot Springs. I had to get a speedometer cable put on. Our speedometer sensor, speed sensor put on. Right. And they put that on. And then I got back on the bike. Because, you know, Sunrise won't work on my Suzuki. 
They won't work on Urkel. Right. They say they don't mess with. He wouldn't say. He wouldn't come right out and say it. But every time I asked him about Urkel, he said they can't get parts for the scooters no more. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and and the guy down there in Hot Springs, he said, "Well, I'll have you one. I'll order it today, and I'll have it here. You, what time you want to come in?" I told him two o'clock, because I had to go to Conway. Right. He said, "Well, I'll set you up an appointment for two o'clock next Saturday." Right. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if anybody has a Suzuki and needs some service, I can't think of his name, Jeff. I have to look it up when I get home. It's the Suzuki dealer in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Suzuki dealer in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. Okay. Excellent place. Excellent place. All right. In fact, I'll be going there more often because Conway Cycle Center got bought out. Oh, really? Yep. They got a new owner. Hmm. And he raised his labor rate up over the dealer cost, Chris. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Something happened. Somebody fell and bumped their head. Apparently so. Because an independent shop shouldn't be more than the dealer. No. Not unless they're doing a lot more. Uh, I mean, they busy. Are they washing the bike and, you know, <laughs> they, waxing they it too for that yeah. price, throwing that in there? Yeah, and put a call girl on the back. Oh. So when you pick it up. <laughs> Man, you just go to town, huh? Yeah, Mark couldn't go there. <laughs> What's that address again? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, Conway I'm just Cycle kidding. Shop, where you are well taken care of. I know that's right. Let's bump it up a little bit. Got a car coming up. Austin, Arkansas. We're Austin. coming up on Austin. Austin, Not Arkansas. Austin, Texas. Austin, Arkansas. Austin, Arkansas. If you get off on that exit, you will find out something. What's that, J.C.? That there's nothing in Austin, Arkansas. Nothing. There's an exit and there's an entrance. Hmm. So if you get off, you get off in Austin. Right. You quickly realize you made a mistake and you get back on the freeway. You get off in Austin and you realize that you made a mistake. There's nothing there. Yeah. Hmm. I stopped there one time a long time ago for gas. Is that what I was probably going to ask you? Is there a gas station there? There is one now. There is one now. But it used to didn't be nothing in Austin. Right. If you didn't live there, you didn't get off there. Right. Yep. Hmm. Austin, Arkansas. Austin, Arkansas. Don't stop there. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Man, this turned out to be a nice day. It's, even though it's windy, I'm getting an air temp of 84 degrees, sunny yeah. and bright, visibility 50 miles. Oh, it's perfect. Perfecto. Out here riding with JC. Yep. JC pulling the escapade. Escapade. Double dark. Um, I forgot the name of this trailer, Chris. You got an escapade. Uh, is it a? Is it's it an elite? Not an elite. It's not an elite. And it's I'm, a SE. Oh, SE trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SE trailer. Yeah. yeah. Big yeah. big truck coming hard on your left. Got it. Cabot, Arkansas. Cabot, Arkansas. Ooh, a lot of wind on that truck, JC. A lot of wind on the truck. <laughs> you felt that when yeah, you went by, huh? Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> yeah, I felt that. Normally, it's not so bad when it's not real windy, but... If you was on your 16, Chris, you wouldn't have felt it. No. Because he just went by me. I didn't notice anything at all. Yeah. Now, when they get in front of you, you feel it. Yeah, you feel that buffeting coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, on that 16, he just... He's up on the side of you. You don't even know he's there. Yep. You know, you'd be surprised how the lighter. I wish that they would have made the gas tank bigger. Since the Gold Wing will give you the same distance with less fuel, imagine if they'd have gave you a bigger tank. 
Now so, I can so go the even. New one, if the tank is not the same size on the new one? No, the tank size is a gallon smaller. Oh, wow. I think it's I think it's 5.5 and the and the uh, previous generation is 6.6. .6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's actually it's actually 1.1 gallon smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were trying to their main goal was to reduce the weight. So right. they did it. Right. But that extra gallon of fuel, man, can, you know, take yep. you farther. Yeah. So. Well, the weight the weight is bigger on dry. But right. But they made it smaller. Yeah, they definitely they did that. They had to come back and put a bigger trunk on it. Put a lighter front end on it. Yeah. So when the wind is blowing, it blows you around. Yeah. You know, it's yep. perfect in perfect, perfect weather, but you know, you gotta take into account rain. You gotta take into account heavy wind. Yeah. You know, I would have put a bigger gas tank on here myself. I would have went up a gallon. Yeah. I may not be able to get all the way to Sherwood without stopping for gas. Okay, well, I'm just I'm with you, JC. So whatever yeah. you want to do is your yeah. call. Yeah, I'm uh, not stopping in Cabot, but I may have to stop in Jacksonville. I got, I'll look at it and see when I get there. I got a fuel range of 123 miles. Yeah, you you fine. So wherever you I'm, wherever I'm, you stop. I'm getting low. <laughs> if I pay 350 or $4, it don't matter. Yeah. It, it don't matter to me. Now you start yeah. talking about six or seven dollars and I'm looking like, okay, why is it so high? Yeah. It's just but, that it's just that there's a gas station at the exit to go to Dad's house. Okay. But if I have to, I'll stop before that, you know. Right. I'm not gonna run out first. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. Wherever you wanna stop. You would not get any complaints from me. I'm just enjoying myself being out on the gold wing. Hey, it feels good to be riding and not have to be the leader, don't it? Yes, that's true. You, you're right about that. That's why a lot of times when I'm riding, I just sit back there. Y'all be like, Jimmy, you okay? They <laughs> see you all right. Oh, I'm fine. You know? <laughs> right. I'm just following y'all. Right. I don't have a clue where I'm going. I couldn't get back for nothing in the world. Right. But, you know? And when I'm up there riding, I'm just following along. There you go. And I'm always up, you know, I'm up toward you the front. You always up doing the lead. Yeah. So the day I'm riding with you and time is no problem. Yep, it's early. We got an early you know, start. We got an early start. The weather's good. I hadn't been out on the bike the way I want to in a while. I mean, I get out a little bit, but, but, yep. um, so I'm just, I'm just taking it in, man. It's, I'll have a good ride back home. It'll be a, a three-hour ride back to the house when I leave Sherwood. Yeah, going in, going in from uh, Sherwood. Now, if you want to, it's up to you because of the wind. If it's up to you, I can take you on the back road. You can come back to Ball Knob and head back up on 64, but that's up to you. I'll see what time it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll check the uh, route. Because it's, it's, it's trees. It's trees, and it's less turbulent. Yeah, I'll check the uh, mileage. I'll check the route. Yeah. I'll look at it once we in Sherwood and see which way I want to go. But I was yeah. thinking of just running back out 40. Yeah. Uh, have you eaten anything today? We may need to. Yeah, because you will be right down the road from where, uh, where 67 connects to 40. You know what the first lady told me before I left? She said, make sure you uh, get you some dinner because... I'm not cooking. <laughs> and so I said, oh, you're going to cook me a nice dinner? She uh, said, no, I'm not cooking. Oh, well, so, you know what that means. That, that means, that means that she. Her, when you get some dinner, you got to get her some dinner. That means she better get in that kitchen and get the cooking. That's what that means. <laughs> but no. Nah. You got to get her some dinner and everybody else. No, she good, man. You know, she's built, she's she's on a health health diet, so. Oh, that's right. She changed her her diet. She's on yeah, health, yeah. We had salmon last night for dinner, and. Oh, that's She nice. made a good salmon and broccoli, and it, we had a good dinner. So she just told me, just pick you something up because I'm not gonna cook. Yeah. I said, okay, that's fine, baby. You know, I'm going out on the bike. If you want to go with me, and let me say this too, uh, what, you know, while I'm talking about the first lady, you know, people often ask me, what does it take? to get, uh, you know, your wife on the back of the bike, 
you know, you have to start out small. You have to take start out small. But how you get them on the bike? Uh, the secret is getting out, having fun without them. That's the secret. You got to you got to get out and have fun without them. Well, what do you mean, Chris? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, a lot of times, you know, the thing with women is they get jealous if they see you putting attention into anything other than them. It could be a video game. It could be a car. Uh, it could be a motorcycle. It could be anything. But if you're paying, if you're paying something that's more attention than you're paying them, that makes them a little bit jealous. So, if you want to get her out on the bike, what you got to do is go out without her. Yeah. You know, every time I get on my bike, if the first lady is home, nine times out of ten, I will ask her to go with me. And if she declined, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to let her stop me from riding, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to stay home because she doesn't want to get out. Right. So if she see that you're going out, you're having fun with the guys, you're really enjoying the gold wing, then she's going to be like, well, wait a minute. What are you doing that, you know, that's causing you to have all this, this extra time? Come back and, with enjoy, a smile on your face come back with your, That's right. You, you know, you come back, you've eaten, you don't want her dinner. You know, you 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 have been having hanging out with the fellas and y'all been having a good time. So she's gonna say, you know what? I'm going with you. you yeah. I, I'm going to see what you're doing because I'm see what that's all about. Right. You're having too much fun without me. Yeah. You know, you you putting too, you putting too much attention toward the bike than you are toward me. So I'm gonna go with you. So that's the that's the key. That'll kind of move make them right. more motivated. Right. Hey, you know another way you can speed it up even further than that? If you even faster than that? If you bring if you bring other ladies around that's on the bike with their husbands? Yep. You know, yep. peer pressure. Peer pressure would make your wife get on the bike faster than anything else. Yep. Now she's or, not going she's or not you could tell them, you could tell them so and so's wife rode or his new girlfriend and boy she sure is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, okay. All right. I'll let you do uh, that one. Look out didn't. now. Look out. Look out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can. You know when. If see, you got to bring the wives around. Yeah, I know. You know when she see the other wives on there because the thing about women, they don't want to be by themselves. So if you're going right. out with the fellas, if she feels like she's gonna be the only, the only girl the only or the only, there, the yeah. only female in the group, she's not gonna really want to go. She's gonna be like, you know what, you guys go ahead and have fun. Right. But if she see other females right. are going to be. you wouldn't want to go out and hang out with a whole bunch of just girls. I wouldn't. You know. I, I wouldn't. You wouldn't even know what they were talking about. You couldn't even identify. You couldn't be part of the conversation. I mean, I, I'll go see what they're talking about. No, but, yeah. I'm, no, but seriously, no, you're right. Um, so when your woman, when your wife, your significant other, she don't want to be the only woman in the group. So if she sees that other women are coming or other wives are out there on the bikes. That'll make them more likely, you know, to get on the bike. And yeah. then, you know, you got to start them out slow. You got to take them, you know, hit the back roads. Don't put them out on the interstates. You know. Right. <laughs> you going to give me up, baby? <laughs> baby, you'll give me up. I'm going to do this like you do me. I'm going to say, well, how much is it worth to y'all? Hmm. <laughs> My baby says she gonna get me up. What kind of crockery is that? Can you hear me, baby? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. 